Okay. Before I start, um, everybody, I, I mentioned the maison productive space and the fact that we're testing something out that would be applicable to um, the condominium. Um, they would want to be using the water that is being treated through a gray water filtration system. They want to be using it for toilet, using it in the toilets, and using it also in uh, ornamental plants. And one of our goals is also to test it out on plants that we on edible plants. We'd like to see if we can push it a little bit farther and um, be testing this water that comes from the filtration system onto edible plants. Right now, we're we're not quite yet uh, there. We're still working on the filtration system, and we're not yet at testing it out on edible plants. But we're um, getting towards that. Basically, it starts over here. We get the water, the dishwashing, no, the laundry machine water from people's potato, which is on the seventh floor. It's a collective kitchen. They serve meals and they have to uh, do their laundry after the meals. So we usually go around 2.30 once a week and get the water. How much water is used laundry in or laundry? Washing? Sorry, laundry. laundry. The laundry. washing machine. Washing machine. Washing machine. Like, what else do they so, wash? Dish towels and the Yeah, the tabliers and the dish towels. And, um, how much water do you think goes into one uh, one load of, of clothing? About 120. So we can carry that individually with our pails here. And also the, our, our system right now, our beautiful banana plant, can't take all that water. Uh, we're looking to, we're definitely going to expand it a little bit. It's gonna, there's going to be two basins uh, with a banana plant, and then there's going to be more of a wetland system, but for now this is what we have. So we've been using about 60 liters. The reason why we, well, we go first through this mm, filtration, uh, it's basically just a screen. You could tell that there isn't that much. You know, there isn't much hair, it's just a bit of lint and a bit of clothing. The idea behind this is that we want to have a regular flow, a more even flow, so using this basin, it's not supposed to stay in here for more than 24 hours because then uh, bacteria forms, it becomes uh, anaerobic and, uh, and it really only takes about two hours for this to empty and go into the sand filtration tank. So we have the sand filtration tank here. Does anybody notice uh, why, can somebody tell me why this tubing isn't going up over here instead of going around and into, I don't know if everybody can see. Does it be going up? Yeah, so if it's going up, then it defeats the whole gravity um, setup. There's um, uh, basically, so there's sand about up to here. On the bottom, there's a bit of geotextile. There's a little bit of uh, gravel so that the, the sand doesn't clog up the entrance to the piping and uh, basically provides a little bit of, of drainage. The sand, there's a biofilm that will form uh, all over the, the sand particles, the sand grains, and that's the first step to the, the filtration. We don't know how effective this biofilm is. That's what that's part of what we're testing out. What is the biofilm? It's basically the bacteria that's forming around all of the sand uh, part, all of the sand grains. And so essentially, it's going through through here. I don't know if anybody saw that there's this device on top. Can you see the device on top that has a bit of red? Yeah. And it, that's basically to prevent overflow. So the red part will, uh, when the water fills to a certain uh, to a certain height about here, the system will close. So the the the, uh, the opening will close, and there can't be more water. That, that the water can't go from here to there. And it's basically to prevent it from flowing. Does everybody understand? understand? Yeah, so it won't overflow, so it'll cap the water there. Then the water goes down through here and into this beautiful banana plant. Um, there's basically tubing that goes all the way across onto, on the other side. Um, and the tubing has holes underneath. There's mulch around. And uh, essentially this is also, again, some geotextile, some gravel, uh, soil, and then this synthetic mulch. I know that it's synthetic, but we had it already. And also because um, it's not gonna disintegrate, and it's also, which also means that we, we always have um, something protecting the gray water, because keeping in mind that the gray water has a potential risk, a potential health risk. So that's the idea behind the synthetic uh, mulch. 
and again, the mulch, making sure that it, it's percolating uh, more evenly and not going directly into the system. The tubing, can anybody tell me what could be improved in, in this as, uh, with regards to the tubing? We have the tubing going only on, on this side. What would be ideal? Going around. So ideally, we, so we're, we're, we're going to be doing that soon, having the tubing going all the way around the uh, holes underneath. Um, another thing that could be improved, I'm, I'm hoping Sorry, some what, what do you have more points of, of entrance. Yeah. Well, do you see uh, there's, the tubing is here, underneath, under the mulch, okay. and it's only here. The, the tubing is only here. It's not going all the way around. Okay, yeah. Um, another thing that could be improved is the fact that the water is going into this water basin from underneath here, and it's not actually going into uh, this cyrus. The reason for that is the water is flowing from this basin into the into here. <laughs> Ideally, it would be flowing into here, and then it would be um, a succession. But the thing is that for us to put this higher, we, we need to go higher, and we can't reach because we we have we have to hold the buckets and fill them into here, and it's too high, too dangerous to go all the way up. So right now we're still figuring out how how we're going to make that work, but we're going to figure it out and. Ideally, you'll be coming back in maybe like two or three months and you'll see how this has evolved. We're going to be expanding this to have it like a double that size. This is mimicking the wetland system. We've got duckweed here. Um, we've got the, the organic matter. We've got the gravel underneath. Here we've got the cattail. To you, it looks like they're dead <laughs> pretty much, but they're doing great uh, in my eyes because I've seen how they were almost dead when they were transplanted uh, at the beginning in the fall. Um, so we can see the shoots here, the beautiful shoots. And um, this is this is an example of how you're trying to um, get the water not to fall all in one spot, to, but to be really uh, distributed more evenly. So it's just a little a little plastic cup, yes, plastic, uh, unfortunately. But uh, there's holes all around, and so it's distributing the water a little bit better. Um, mm. Any questions so far? Um, is it normal that this is slanted? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's so that we can have a bit more water that's going um, flowing underneath. The banana is chosen uh, also because well, yes, because it doesn't go dormant, and also the banana is known to to be really uh, efficient in these water uh, treatment systems. We have bougainvillier here, which was just brought over uh, about two weeks ago. So it's uh, having a bit of a hard time, but it's slowly acclimatizing. Can you say that? Acclimatizing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got um, some algae, um, some euphil here, which is another type of, of algae that is, is slowly picking up. And eventually we, we want to have more uh, more of a wetland system going on, so we want to get more, more plants. Maybe when Steve's workshop, we could keep a few of, of those plants and, and put them in here. Um, the pump is to keep the water oxygenated, oxygenated so that it doesn't become stagnant and... Um, is it... Sorry. Yeah. Is, it, is there any way you could do this without a pump? You have to oxygenate it? Um, you could do it without a pump, yes, but you would have more algae forming and for the, well, for the sake of us wanting to expand, it wouldn't really yeah. make that much sense. You would need uh, uh, oxygenating plants. Yeah. And yeah. there are a lot, but, uh, like but we, we don't have... They could, yeah. cover, they could easily cover the, the top of the water and... Mm -hmm. uh, like bulrush yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, the, ideally in a permaculture system, you don't, yeah, don't want to be relying on a pump. Mm -hmm.